fokus ka yan fokus na fokus na ba Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jim, and um, yeah, thank you so much for watching the episode one. Now, our ating derma pen topic, and today, welcome to episode two. Kung sa ani papa kita ko sa inyo yung actual procedure, chaka preparation ko kung paano ko ginagamit yung derma pen. By the way, today is the seventh day after ako nagderma pen, and at the end of this video, please watch nyo yung mga check-ins ko para alam nyo kung ano yung expectation after ng 24-hour period nung ginamit nyo yung derma pen after 2 days and after 3 days. Yun yung mga check-ins ko at ito na yung um, last update which is the 7th day. Um, yeah. Uh, hindi pa ako naliligo actually. I just woke up. Tapos um, yan yung itsura ng face ko after kung mag pen After a week ng derma pen. Nagre-register ba? Nakapokus ba? So, before we go on to the video, I would like to invite you to please subscribe ka sa channel natin for more skincare tips, skincare videos, and also follow me on Instagram for updates about sa mga topics na i-feature ko dito sa channel ko and without any further ado, let's go on to the video. The number one preparation bago mo gawin yung procedure is you need to plan ahead yung mga activities mo. Remember that on the first um, two to three days after mong gamitin yung derma pen is bawal ka talaga sa direct sunlight exposure. And it is also recommended na wag mo na yung mga heavy activities that will cause sweating kasi nga pag masyado kang pawis yung growth ng bacteria is very fast kaya iwasan mo muna yung magpunta sa gym or if you are into sports mas magandang iwasan mo muna siya now that you already planned your schedule um, kailangan mo naman is sanitize yung surrounding kailangan plan mo na kung saan mo gagawin yung procedure for example you have a table kung saan mo isa-set up yung mga gagamitin mo, kailangan malinis lahat ng surroundings at lahat ng surface. Including na rin doon yung gagamitin mo sa pagtulog. So, kailangan yung bed sheets mo, yung pillows mo, masanitize mo na din. Because of course, it will touch your face at medyo um, sensitive pa siya kasi nga um, tinusok mo siya ng mga karayong. And lastly, um, hindi naman pwedeng malimutan na you need to um, sanitize your hands before doing the procedure. Since tapos na tayo mag-sanitize, yung preparation mo naman on your face is you just need to do your normal skincare routine. And it's very recommended that you use the scrub para matanggal mo na yung dead skin cells sa surface ng um mukha mo and uh, as well this is the best time for you to use your blackhead removers or yung mga blackhead um, tools mo ito yung perfect time na gamitin mo sila because you don't want na matusok pa ng karayom yung mga blackheads mo kaya this is the best time to harvest your blackheads last tip is I think mas maganda na alone mo gagawin yung procedure kasi mas magandang hindi ka talaga ma-interrupt. Um, especially if hindi ka gagamit ng naming cream, um, it's best na tuloy-tuloy lang mo yung procedure kasi mahirap siyang balikan. For example, you're already done half of your face, then na-interrupt ka and gusto mo pulido or lahat ng areas um, na daanan ng derma pen. Pagbabalikan mo kasi siya, medyo hindi na ganun kaganda or parang malagkit na because of the blood. Kaya um, mas maganda talaga tuloy-tuloy yung procedure mo. And kung gagamit ka naman ng naming cream, syempre may duration lang din yung um, visa niya. Kaya 
mas maganda talaga tuloy-tuloy and no interruption at all. Using up namin cream naman, it's very easy. You just need to apply it sa mga areas na kailangan mong pamanhidin and um, you need to use clean wrap after mong i-apply and leave it 30 to 60 minutes and pwede mo na siyang uh, tanggalin pag naramdaman mong medyo manhid na yung uh, iyong uh, face. You can wash it or you can just use wet wipes to remove yung excess ng namin cream. In doing the dermapen, several times mong gagamitin yung zero and um, it's really normal na magbibilid ka talaga especially if may uh, tinatarget kang areas kung saan ka problematic. For example, you have um, a deep scar dito tapos magpo-focus ka lang dyan. If matagal maglilinger yung thermapen dun sa area na yon expect talaga na magbibleed talaga siya. But again, yung bleeding niya is not excessive. Paggamit ng dermapen, hindi mo kailangang maglagay ng um, too much force sa kamay mo. Kailangan lang, i-glide mo lang siya gently on your um, skin. Um, kailangan matouch lang talaga ng karayom yung balat mo and make sure na napepenetrate niya ng maayos. But hindi mo kailangang diinan yung um, paghawak mo sa dermapen papunta sa balat mo kasi nga masyadong harsh na yun kung ibibiin mo pa. Again, gentle lang talaga dapat yung pag-glide. And then, personal itong dermapen kaya hindi mo pwedeng ipahiram. This can only be used by you. After the procedure, please make sure to properly dispose yung needle na ginamit mo. And of course, you need to sanitize again yung um, device and keep it on the same place.
personally, I don't um wash my face after the procedure. Ang ginagamit ko na lang talagang pang uh, linis ng mukha ko is um, wipes, yung mga makeup remover wipes na may mga uh, vitamins ng kasama. And um, I end it with the serum again. Hello, this is the first day after kong magdermapen. Um, medyo red pa talaga siya and I can feel na masyadong banat na banat yung mukha ko talaga and medyo dry siya because expected na magpipil siya on the next couple of um, days. Pero ngayon may nanonotice na akong parang a little bit of micro peeling and yeah. Um, I'll update again tomorrow kung ano na yung magiging improvement. And so far, ayan, medyo red pa talaga, especially yung nose area, masyado sigurong nabugbog. But anyway, gusto ko naman yun para mas lalong ma-generate yung collagen at magpanta yung um, surface na face ko. I think gagamit ako ng aloe vera gel today. Let's see kung magsasubside pa yung redness. But, yeah, yun lang din naman yung routine ko lagi. Every time na natidermapen ako. And, hindi mo na ako gagamit ng BL cream because gusto ko mag-peel siya eh. Baka ma-avoid kasi ng BL cream yung pag-peel at mas tap yung um, pag-produce ng collagen because anti-inflammatory yun. So, there. I'll update you tomorrow. Hello guys, it's day 2 and I'm about to go to work. Medyo magpalapalin pa rin yung mukha ko but of course, nag-subside na yung redness. But, uh, on the second day, nag-peel na talaga siya. Especially, um, during naliligo ako, parang naglilipag na yung mukha ko. But, I think tolerable naman yung redness. Sanay naman ako dito pang ilang sessions ko na to. And, yeah. Um, two days yung inalat ko para mabigyan yung skin ko ng ample time para mag um, mag heal pero ngayon I think kaya ko namang lumabas kahit ganito lang banat na marat yung mukha ko um, tingnan mo nagsisign pa siya oh. yung pan ba? yung parang naglagay ka ng pang dry talaga medyo dry talaga na siya ngayon and obvious na obvious na yung peeling and I'm going to use this moisturizer ng Nivea, yung favorite kong baby, mo um, yeah, baby moisturizer. And as my sunblock, hindi mo na ako gagamit ang tinted sunblock ng Belo because feeling ko magkakaroon ng mapa yung mukha ko kasi may pink na siya. I'm going to use this Miracle Cream with Sunscreen na lang muna for now para transparent lang siya. I made a review on this product before so if you wanna know more visit yung video but yeah um, second day I'll try to film another update tomorrow third day tapos siguro yung next update would be the um, seven days na pero if you would take a look closer ayun no yan yan na lang yung natira don't use scrub at all kasi masusugot yung mukha nyo hayaan yung pusa lang siya mag peel Yan. Pero kanina mas marami pa yan. Yan. Pinong-pino na yung mga craters ko. Yung ilong ko medyo, yun yung medyo mapula pa. But yeah. Kung itong mga ganito, yan. Medyo iniwasan ko yun because parang keloid part siya. Ipapatsyagap ko pa. Ito yung natirang um, mga parang pimples or scars na after kong mag -acutate. So, yan. There. Focus ba? Yan. Focus. Yan. So, I'll make an update tomorrow sa third day natin. Bye! Hello guys, it's um third day. Sobrang init no. It's 4 p.m. and na nagre-ready na ako pa pasok and yeah, um wala nang um 
pili na ubus na siya, siguro sumama na sa palili ko, ko buong mukha ko, nagpil lang yung pinaka, yeah, uh, ano tawag dito, yung pinaka top part lang. Ayan, tapos na magpil, and so far, yan. Yan na yung itsura niya. Konti na lang yung redness. Very tolerable na. This is the perfect time din para um, gumamit ako ng BB cream. <clears throat> Ito, masyado yata na palalim yung tuso ko dyan. But anyway, yan. Maganda. Um, super healthy looking na yung balat ko ulit. And hindi pa yan yung full bloom. Pag nawala na yung um, redness, mas gaganda pa yung effect niya. But, as I can see here, today, yan, banat na banat yung mukha mo. And, yung pores, nag, um, tagi ta nag-minimize din. Yan. Sobrang init, pawis na pawis ako. Yan. See? Mm. Siguro hindi na ako gagawa ng fourth day update after a week na siguro or on the seventh day. But as you can see, um, saglit lang yung parang pinaka minimal downtime. On the second day, tolerable naman. Pwede nang lumabas. And kahapon, I went to work na. Okay naman. <laughs> Nadala ko naman yung medyo konting feeling ng mukha ko. And ngayon, tapos na. Um, when I was taking a bath, um, medyo meron pa dito sa gilid part. Pero after mo magsabon, okay naman. Sobrang init ka rin. Um, so there. By the way, I put aloe, aloe vera um, gel before I go to sleep para makatulong din on sa pagsasubside ng redness. And yun. Pero pagising ko, hindi na tumupula. Napumula na lang ulit after ko maligo. Tsaka mainit kasi. Kaya, yan, medyo mapula. Pero maya-maya siguro pag hindi na masyadong mainit, hindi na yan mapula. Anyway, that's the third day update. Bye! You've reached the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Kung isa ka sa mga gumagamit ng Dermapen, please um, share us your thoughts and your experience. And if you have any recommendation kung paano tanggalin yung acne scars, please comment down below. Um, kung may mga question kayo about this topic, kailangan natin yan for the Q&A sa third episode. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and again thank you so much for watching this is jean and see you again on our next video subscribe to my channel and uh, god bless you goodbye